You're on. Hey. So one of the challenges with our bus is that there is absolutely no place to carry around full-size bikes. There's no place in the back where we need to be able to open the engine. There's no place for a ladder where the ladder racks would go. And also, we don't like having bikes stored outside just because they weather so badly. So our goal for finding bikes was to find bikes that could fit into here. This used to be a cargo bay, and when we did our remodel last summer, we were able to shuffle things around to free this up and get everything that we used to keep in here out. And our goal then was to find two bikes that would fit in there. And as a bonus, it'd be really great if they could fit into the back of the Mini Cooper too. And we managed to succeed with these Ejos. So you'll see they fold down, they barely fit in, they barely fit into the Mini. But we're very, very happy we got what we wanted. On the path that I've chosen Straight up Come my way And I'll see you at the top Cause something's gonna happen in this story And I can feel it coming Like the rising of the sun The stream Okay, we are starting our shopping for new electric bikes. Electric bikes? What? We have electric bikes right here, <laughs> but no, new ones. <laughs> we actually, we got these guys uh, back in 2015, so five years ago. Uh, they are Ejo Epic SEs, and we've been super happy with them. Yeah, our purpose when we sought these out, our, we had a very specific goal, is we needed bikes that could fold up and fit into a small bay on the bus. And, and also into the back of our Mini Cooper. And that was a bonus, is that they fit in the back <laughs> of the Mini Cooper. So we had very, very particular space constraints that limited us in our shopping choices, and the Ejos was one of the few that would fit what we needed, and they worked out really well for us. But since we've now been on the boat... Um, they haven't held up as well. Well, five years is a long but, time. A lot has changed in the electric bicycle industry. A lot of advancements, a lot of new options, and a lot of progressions as well. And frankly, these haven't held up all that well, especially <laughs> in a marine environment. Right. So, so the, these have aged. We're ready for something new. Um, like, like in particular, like the the electric control board that actually lets you turn these into e-bikes. Um, and engage them. We've had to replace the boards twice because they just die from the salt air. And, and they need to be replaced again. And they need to be replaced again. It's like, do we want to do this? We took our bikes to a bike shop for just a regular tune-up, and they're like, ah, the bolts are so rusty, we're afraid to un take your bike apart, so we're not actually, we're afraid to work on it because it'll just fall apart. So I guess that's a sign that <laughs> it's time fun. We've been kind of wanting new ones yeah. anyway. Um, our criteria has not really changed all that much, although our lifestyle has. Um, we're not going to need to fit them into the bay of the bus anymore. We're not getting rid of the bus. No. It's just that we're now going to be always having the bikes when we're on the bus or traveling by the van on the back of the van on this sweet new bike rack that we just purchased from Rocky Mounts. Yes, the Rocky Mounts backstage swing out bike rack is so sweet. Um, but that does set a, a, a new constraint for us. Is It's got a 60 pound weight limit per bike. So um, that is a new constraint. We're going to have bigger bikes, we need to have at least 20 inch wheels and um, less than 60 pounds. And they need to be rated for heavier framed riders. Um, <laughs> so a lot of the top contenders have a cutoff limit at 225. So definitely the bikes will help you get down to 225. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but we need to start with something that can handle uh, the heavier frame. Uh, so 250 weight limit would be the ideal to give a little bit of leeway. Yeah, so anyway, we're just making this video to show that, hey, we're, we are, there are so many electric bike options out there right now um, that it's a little bit overwhelming. So we're just saying, hey, tell us any cool leads and ideas. We do have the next generation of the Ejo is on our shortlist, the Ejo Epic Swan. Yep, which is a new step through, step through frame. It looks really sweet. It looks like a lot of upgrades on it. A lot of it. improvements. So it is definitely the tops of our list as a replacement. We have been happy with Ejo in general. Uh, they're, of course, not rated for marine, so we can't <laughs> expect, a, a, unless we buy a, a specifically a marine rated, it, 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 yeah, it's and not going to work. It will. Yeah. And uh, the other one that, of course, comes up to the top of the list is the electric, especially their new uh, step through. XP, yeah. um, they are only $8.99, which is a sweet price. We have not had a chance to ride one yet, so hopefully we can do that at some point. Uh, they are on the list. Um, 
Uh, my only hesitation with them is they are they are using social media so much to promote them uh, that we don't want to be. Everyone has one. Everyone has one, and <laughs> it's not that I have we're not on YouTube to be social media influencers. And we're not looking for free man, free bikes from so, random companies. So, um, so that is actually one of the downsides for of us. electric. <laughs> but yeah, electric has a great reputation. So we've been enjoying hearing from people who are not social media influencers as we're happy. So we are yeah. listening to those. <laughs> um, there, there's other bikes we hear a lot about is like the the Rad Mini and stuff, but the Rads are heavy and I think are going to be too heavy for us. They're 80 pounds ish, which is heavier than this frame can do. And we also want to be able to move the bikes from into our dinghy occasionally. It's not going to be a, a normal use case for us because we're so often doing long stays at marinas where we have dock access. Yes. But being able to get them into the dinghy ashore if we're doing that would also be nice. Uh, another one that is in that class is the Cycle, which uh, they're partnered with the Escapers. We did test ride those out at Bash. They are a very sweet, well-built bike, mm -hmm. but again, too heavy for us. Yeah, bit, bit on the too heavy side. Um, there's uh, Swagtron is got some uh, big fans. They're very, very great value bikes. Um, the main Swagtron lines use 16-inch uh, wheels, which is smaller than we want. 16-inch um, wheels wouldn't work on this back bike rack, and uh, um, also it's not so great for going off-road and trails like we like to do. So we think 20 inches is the right size, and we don't want to go full-size bikes probably, probably because um, just this place we have to store them on the back of the boat is basically not long enough for full-size bikes and without really, folding them then they yeah. got the width and then yeah, so, so yeah. we think we want to stick with yeah. the 20 inch size this general size of bike mm -hmm. 20 inch wheels 250 pound weight capacity uh we would ideally like a range these only had a range of 20 miles i think there's like 50 miles for you yeah um, like so, a little bit more range out of them. Which I think most of them do today, mm -hmm. uh, based upon these older style. Now we're all coming at a minimum of 375 to 500 watt, right? Yeah, the, 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 the actually is either 350 or 500, okay. and yeah, we'd like a 500 watt motor, I think. Uh, some of them have 750, hey. Yep. But, uh, we love pedal assist and throttle option. We are spoiled with that, with the multiple uh, modes of pedal assist, yes. so you can choose. <laughs> Because um, our, our style of riding is we like to go for a hard bike ride and get ourselves all sweaty and get out someplace and then know that we have the electric to get us home and back um, and to cruise back in style, sometimes often piled down with groceries. So, you know, that's how we like to work it. <laughs> so that's what we're looking for, a versatile bike that is great for doing commuter sort of chores and errands, as well as when we're out in places like this where we have trails that we can do. I mean, we're not going to be mountain biking, but we do like to do. Biking. But we like yeah. to do trail biking. I yes. think is the better term. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. I don't no think stunts. Of, no stunts. No jumps. No jumps. Um, but yeah, we have taken these with these thin wheels out on some trails here in Florida. They work fine. I think a little fatter of a tire would be better. Yeah. No, that, we've done but. trails in, in the desert in Arizona mm -hmm. too, and that's actually why we got these um, solid tires on them because we kept getting flat. So we don't want something that's. Uh, well, we might eventually need tires that are flat immune. So <laughs> anyway. Um, We've loved electric folding bikes for five years now. We're ready for what's next for us. If you have ideas, stuff you love, leave a comment, let us know, and we will follow up when we make our decision on what we're getting. Cool. Oh, other criteria. We need to get it. Well, we don't need. <laughs> we would like something that we can get fairly immediately. So, Indie, there, I know there's a lot of great stuff on Indiegogo campaign, but that's not shipping until next year. And, we and, really are anxious to utilize this winter season to get out and, and enjoy our And bikes. there's a lot of other cool bikes that are already sold out their entire 2020 inventory. So, yeah, again, if you've got a, we, we need to find bikes that we actually can get in this year sometime. So, help us with our bike hunt. Give us your recommendations in the comments, and we'll let you know what we end up with. We create these videos just for fun, and we love having you along for the ride. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.